What's up everyone? It's Kido with Rapture in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Uh, if you've been in the market for a tin keg, this is the right video for you. We're going to be doing our three month review on it, uh, going over everything this thing has to offer. <laughs> everyone uh, so let's get right into it we're gonna be doing our three month review on this tin keg um, that we received a few months back from our good friends over at tin Wiz. Uh, so this keg is for the person that is tired of using a spray bottle so if you're like me uh, and you're sick of using one of these guys I mean they do have their purpose for sure um, I mean I personally just over a year ago, got into a motorcycle accident, broke my arm, uh, I've got plates and uh, screws in my wrist, and it, it's very painful. So every day squeezing this trigger, uh, it just sucks. So for me, a tin keg is a no-brainer. I mean, I'm not squirting anything, I'm pushing down on the nozzle, and I'm getting consistent flow where I need it. It's flushing out gaskets, it's doing its job. Our installs have improved. Uh, contaminants have gone down it has been a uh, huge game changer for us so um, I mean right off the bat this thing is built tough it uh, it doesn't weigh very much obviously it has nothing in it once you fill it up it's gonna get a little heavier but uh, nice big handles on the top for carrying it around for mobile services um, huge rubber top and bottom uh, we have tipped it over a, a few times um, and you cannot tell at all. So great design on that. Um, the top does feature obviously your water uh, inlet for your slip solution, tack solution, whatever you want to use it for. Uh, it does have two inlets for hoses or two outlets, I guess. Um, one has a red cap on it. It is for a second option for a hose, um, if you want to run two lines off of your keg, you do have to upgrade to a second spigot that would go down to the bottom of the tank. It does not have that on there, so you have to get that option separately. Um, and on the other opposite side, you do have your quick connect for your hose that is supplied with the tank if you choose that option. Um, we'll be going over the hose very shortly. Um, so the lid itself has a super nice gasket on it, seals very nice. We've had zero leaks in this thing since we've had it. Um, in the middle top portion, you have your air inlet. You're going to want to use a air compressor for this because a hand pump, I, I'm pretty sure you're probably going to be all day pumping that bad boy. So, um, air compressor to fill it up. We tend to fill it up only to about 30 PSI. You can fill it up to 130. Uh, we just don't really see the, uh, the benefit in it. it. It just shoots a little bit too hard. Um, so we generally stick around that 30 PSI. Um, the other feature on the top of the lid here is there is a, uh, keychain ring that you pull on to release the air that's in the tank. Uh, if you want to empty it or fill it up or you're done for the day and you don't want any air left in there, you just pull it, turn it to the side and it'll stay open. Don't forget to close it when you go to fill it back up. Um, or if you overfill the tank with air, it'll release the air through that, uh, obviously instead of blowing the tank up, which we want to avoid at all costs. So let's talk about the hose that comes with the tank. Uh, so this here is about a uh, 20 foot hose. It does come in longer lengths and uh, these things are very well built. Uh, I mean, they're tough. We have an unfinished floor in our install bay, so things tend to get a little bit more dirty uh, than usual. Uh, but the hose does clean up very nicely uh, with some soap and water. So on this hose, we do have the uh, brass option for the, the nozzle. Um, it is adjustable, so you can turn the tip of it and you get a nice cone or you can get a stream and kind of everything in between. So, um, again, like I said, for me, the tin keg is a no-brainer simply for the fact that my wrist is sore all the time. So spraying the bottle, it gets very, very annoying. Whereas pushing down on this 
lever here, uh, I mean, it's huge difference. At the end of the day, uh, big, big difference. Uh, on the opposite end, you have your quick connect uh, to attach to the tank. Uh, you push up with your fingers, push down, it clicks into place. Make sure it does that connection and clicks. Um, it does have a very nice Velcro that you can either carry the hose separately or it has enough on there that you can actually put around the tank and uh, carry both around like that. Um, so for the, the tin keg itself, uh, again, like I said, we used to use the spray bottles. We still do once in a while, very rare, but uh, we did find that it helps getting yourself kind of a universal measuring device if you want. Uh, to have that conversion very easily. So if you're only going to be doing one car or two cars and you don't need that much uh, slip in there, well, you can ratio that with something easy. Uh, so we have this guy that's got a big hole cut in the top. Um, we know how much slip we need and how much water and we put it in. There. All right, I hope you enjoyed our video uh, review on the tin keg. We've had this bad boy for about three months, like I said. Uh, hands down, one of the best uh, things that we could have gotten for our shop. Uh, this thing has saved time, money, uh, made the installs much cleaner. Uh, so again, huge thank you to Tin Wiz for sending us this tin keg and allowing us to do a review.